Argentina President Javier Milei has announced the plans to dismiss 70,000 government employees in the coming months, adopting a chainsaw-style approach to significantly reduce the status size, as reported by the American media. During an event on 26th of March, Milei also disclosed his decision to halt other public work, decreasing the funding to provincial government and terminate over 200,000 social welfare programs, labeling them as corrupt. These measures are a part of the libertarian leader's strategy to achieve the fiscal equilibrium by any means necessary this year. Despite representing a fraction of Argentina's 3.5 million public sector workforce, Milei may face resistance from the powerful labor union and potential risk to his approval rating, which are higher than ever before. A union initiated a strike on 26th of March, while a government report highlighted significant wage decline in the private sector since Milei took office in December. The leader of the state worker union, ATE, has also announced a national strike on X in response to Milei's plans. However, Milei referred to the polls indicating growing optimism among the Argentinians about the economy's future. Despite austerity measures, recent indicators show increased public confidence in the government. People have hope they are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, Millay stated in his address to the people. Some more announcements have been made by the Argentinian president. Here are them as follows. Millay has also affirmed that the PISO's future contract aligned with the central bank's 2% monthly crawling peg scheme rejecting the call for significant currency devaluation as ridiculous. Meanwhile, the Argentinian Central Bank will also work to achieve the net neutral service reserve and stated that debt liability will exceed available cash by $11.5 billion in December. Millay has also pledged to intensify the economic reforms ahead of the 2025 congressional election with over 3,000 plus reforms planned. And so, the Argentinian president also anticipates a V-shaped economic recovery in the near future. In May 2023, as the Argentinian inflation surged above 100%, Millet's popularity in the polls soared too. In December, he won by a landslide in Argentina elections. These actions are now garnering attention but are also sparking controversy and debate. Millet, when he won election, had vowed to fight for the recovery of Argentina's economy and so, such drastic actions are now being taken.